A potential breakthrough in the battle against COVID-19. The FDA just granting emergency approval for coronavirus saliva test, calling it a testing innovation game changer. This test, which is simpler, cheaper, and less invasive than navel, nasal swabs, was developed by Yale University researchers. It's been used by the NBA and could greatly help expand testing capacity. Joining us right now is Ann Wiley. She is associate research scientist with Yale School of Public Health, which helped develop this new test. And Ann, it's great to see you. Thank you for being with us this morning. Thank you. Good morning. So this is incredibly exciting. Um, the idea that you could do the saliva test, that it could be cheap and readily available. Um, how does it work? Um, well, it's actually quite simple, really. Um, it's, as the name suggests, it, we are using saliva as the sample type. Um, and so what we're trying to do is get away from that swab, that swab that can, you know, there's been quite a bit, bit of aversion to the swab type. And we're hoping to also get around supply chain issues that we've been seeing with those swabs. And we're also not looking for any fancy collect, uh, collection devices to help keep our prices down. And so what's actually also quite unique about it, unique about it, is that we haven't actually developed a test that we just package up and send out to you. So you can't actually just order one of these tests. But what we've, been, um, what we've developed is the method for the test or the recipe, you could say. And we're able to share this test with other labs for them to get this method up and running in their local labs. Um, as for the test itself, we've actually just um, adapted the quite commonly used PCR test, which detects the virus RNA. But what we've done is we've removed the most expensive step of that, replacing it with a more simple workup, which again helps bring that price down. How, how would it work, though? I mean, if, if it still requires a lab to put it together, you, you deliver it to me, and then what, I drive it to the lab, and then how long does it take for, for me to get my results back? So indeed, much like, you know, what you do at the moment with a swab. So whether that swab is being ordered for you by a doctor or whether, you know, what we're hoping to see is um, maybe in schools where you have like a little booth where you can drop off your saliva sample and have that taken to the lab. Um, so taking out that more sort of time consuming step, we are hoping that results will be available faster. You know, this isn't one of those rapid tests that people keep talking about, but, you know, we can get... Um, results sort of through in about three hours for about 92 samples. But of course, depending on the throughput that the lab is experiencing, you know, this isn't to say that results will be available in three hours, but just that it's a slightly faster protocol means that labs can put through more tests in a day. So we do hope that we can see maybe in some situations same day results. If not, what we're really striving for is to get below that 24 hour time point that we're just not seeing in many places at the moment. How, how much does this test cost? And I, I believe I've read that, that nobody is looking to really make any money on this. They're trying to just put this out there and, and make sure it's available at the lowest cost possible. That's exactly right. So, and we're being very, very clear and open about what labs should be, um, uh, be expecting that the reagents cost and how much the people can perhaps be expecting the uh, test to cost. And that's because the reagents or the chemicals that make up the test, depending on where the um, companies are getting them from, they only cost somewhere between one and four dollars for the reagents. That's just the reagents for the test. We do know that there are some markups that are going to have to go onto there, such as you know to cover the logistics of getting the test, the personnel to run the tests and also just, you know, they need to pay for the facilities that they're in to do those tests. But, you know, it's that markup that we're still trying to limit that labs charge. So we do want this to be as cheap as possible for society. And we are wanting to be part of that conversation of um, how much labs are charging to try and just keep this down. I, I do think that this could be a huge game changer for, for schools getting back and for, for businesses bringing more employees back. How, how quickly can this be rolled out? When do you think that, there, that it will be widely available? So hopefully within the next couple of months. Um, I mean, what's happening at the moment is that uh, this can only still be run in the clear lab. So these clear labs have to get in touch with us. We do have to um, issue them the um, right to use this test and just to make sure that it's set up properly to make sure that they've got the um, equipment that's available. So I'm hoping that we'll see at least within the next month, um, you know, more and more labs starting to roll this out, starting to make it available because clearly we do really desperately need more testing at the moment. What's the accuracy rate? 
So it's looking really good. So for uh, for any of the technical folks out there, we do have um, this test can detect about six to twelve copies, virus copies um, per microliter. Um, what that means is that it is quite on par with many of the other traditional R um, uh, PCR tests that are already out there. So. We are, it's about 90% sensitive in patients, about 88 to 90% sensitive in um, asymptomatic, healthy individuals. So what we're missing is that, you know, we, there's more of a chance that we might miss that very, very low viral load. So when the virus is maybe only starting to sort of um, pick up an individual and the idea of this is that we're wanting that frequent testing. So, you know, if you've been tested twice a week, even, you know, even better if you can be tested more, you know, you might get missed one day if you've got very, very low amounts of the virus in you. But if that viral load starts to increase, because you're having frequent testing, we'll quickly pick that up the next time.